Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is going to be for three months from now. So three months from the date that you watch it. So let's just see. We're going to start right here. We're going to see what comes up. What do we got three months from now for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini three months from now? What do we have? So say you watched this uh, June, end of May, beginning of June, whatever. It's June, July, August, September. So September, or three months from the date that you watch it. We got two here. We're not, I'm not, I'm going to keep going. What do we have for Gemini? One card, please. Patience. Patience. So, timing. Something about October. Something may happen in October that is very prominent. Um, you need to be patient. Whatever you're waiting for will happen in October. Okay? So, I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what I hear. October. Um, Patience is needed. Divine timing. Everything happens when it is supposed to happen. So maybe these next few months you need to be, you need to be pace, patient. September. Yeah. You need to wait in, in October. Something about October. So just be patient during this time. Um, everything happens when it should. They hear your prayers. Everything is happening um, as it should. Get a couple of cards here. We'll take those. Gemini. Axe. Forces work. <laughs> I can't speak for no reason. Forces working against you. Secret admirer. You have a secret admirer, Gemini. Spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. Interesting. Interesting. So you're experiencing something in the next three months that is going to cause you some heartache. Okay? Um, there's something working against you. Could be another person. Could be an energy. But you also have a secret admirer. So, But you're going to be feeling some sort of heartache by the looks of things. So let's just see what comes up with these cards. What do we have for Gemini? Three months from now. The chariot reversed. Stalled, stuck in some way. You're, you're, uh, there's a lack of determination or there's a lack of movement. Oh, the tower. So you're going to be facing some upheaval. You are. Some chaos, some sort of chaos is happening in the next three months that is causing you to be stuck. There could even be an emotional breakdown here with the chariot unable to reverse, unable to master your emotions in some way, right? So I feel like there's definitely going to be some sort of internal disruption that maybe it stops you in your track or tracks or puts you at a stalemate, your emotions may be all over the place, something comes to a dead stop, or there's a lack of direction, maybe you're feeling scattered, there could be a, uh, you know, I mean, a tower is a breakdown, right, it is, it's a breakdown, it looks like it can be fixed, though, it does, so I'm not, so there's something going on here that is very disruptive, maybe in your home or around you, um, the chariot could even be, I'm not, I'm not trying to scare anybody with the tower. It could be an accident and accidents don't have to be, um, you know, accidents happen every day, put it that way. And accidents can be all kinds of different things, but something could happen that causes major disruption in your life. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, but by the looks of those two cards, that's what this is. Um, it could be even anger with the tower in the chariot reverse. Somebody could get really angry. Um, I 
you're going to be needing to find balance, which I believe that you will. I think that you will. So, Nine of Pentacles reverse, feeling insecure. I'm going to move these over just a little bit. You're my first one that I'm doing like this for this segment. King of Cups up there in your hopes and fears and the Three of Wands reversed right there. So, what do we got here? We're going through a transformation by the looks of things, okay? We got the Death card on the bottom. So, this is a transformation. Endings lead to new beginnings. Endings aren't easy. We have a profound change, um, a transition, a uh, new beginning, a new beginning that is following after an ending. And it does look like you're going to either you're experiencing an ending between now and the next uh, three months or right at the three month mark. But it looks like this there's a relationship here. This is the past, right? A happy relationship. Perhaps it's ending something. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but perhaps that is the case. It looks like we have a relationship that could be ending. Maybe it was really happy at one time, or there's just some sort of profound change within the relationship. Um, I feel like right now there's a lack of communication or in the next three months, okay, there's a lack of communication or there's a lack of clarity. Somebody is refusing to take a new approach. Somebody may not be telling the truth. Uh, they're lying. Uh, they're feeling powerless or they're taking, you know, they're not having the power. They're not taking the power in their own hands. They're not accepting the truth. They're not seeing the truth. Right now, there, there's probably some sort of lack of clarity. Um, right. And then here we have needing to find balance, needing to adjust, needing to be flexible. So you're going to need to adjust to some sort of profound change that is coming. And it could be coming in your home. Perhaps your home is changing. Something is happening at home in your foundation and it could in cause some sort of um, scatteredness. You know, this is, this is a little bit chaotic. And I feel like there is definitely chaos with these cards that you're going to be experiencing. Uh, maybe you're not, maybe if you were single, you know, you're not going to be single anymore. The Nine of Pentacles reversed is, you know, giving up singlehood or not really enjoying your life as you should. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles reversed, it could be a decrease in money and that could really cause uh, emotional upset. There's emotional upset here. There is. Now, the Nine of Pentacles reversed is... Uh, needing to realize that nobody completes you, you complete you. You need to listen. Perhaps you need to take action in the future. Um, there's insecurities here. There's a need for some discipline. There is. With the Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Chariot reverse, there's definitely a need for some discipline here. Somebody is lacking discipline. So I feel like in the next three months, you're probably going to be feeling insecure. Maybe it's within your own self because a tower can be an internal foundation or at home. There's some sort of disruption, okay, that causes you to uh, feel insecure or lose, uh, you know, your security. Um, so I'm not sure if it is financial security or it's internal security. But whatever this is, you're going to need to adapt to some sort of major change that is coming in. Um, there could be another... Say if you say you know, the Queen of Wands is is down here in your approach. You need to be strong. You're gonna need to be focused. You're gonna need to uh, find that determination within you to uh, think positive and be confident. And maybe 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 this is health related. Okay, this could even be health related. Maybe you need to really focus on your health. Maybe you there there could be some sort of illness that comes about because you've lost your willpower. There is a loss of willpower here. There's a loss of determination. And that could definitely affect your health. Maybe you need to focus on your health. You need to work on your image. You need to work on your positive thinking. Um, your approach is to be confident and to definitely take action. You need to take action to regain structure. So I think that you've been... Um, adapting to some sort of profound change in your life and this change may have caused you to lose your focus and now in the next three months you're going to be regaining your focus you're going to need to find your strength and your discipline to uh, 
overcome whatever this situation is. I, I feel like externally you're dealing with a major, uh, you're, maybe you're feeling defeated or, or a major ending. Okay, again, an ending. Tens or completions. Ten, ten. And then I saw the death card. Okay, so there's gonna there's something that is ending in your life that is uh, causing you some sort of despair, and I don't I'm not sure if somebody it, you know has betrayed you, or they have passed away, or they have really hurt you really really badly, and that's what's causing you to lose your your discipline and your willpower and you're overdoing something. I think that you're overdoing something. Something is happening and. Um, externally whoever you're dealing somebody may be bringing you down as well they may be they may be keeping you down they may be causing you some sort of depression or something like that or left you out in the cold you know somebody uh ghosted you some something has ended externally with a person uh, this person betrayed you somebody has betrayed you and i think that uh, you're going to need to find your strength to overcome this pain, okay? Whatever this pain is. And whether it's betrayal or it's a death or an ending, whatever it is, it's you're going to need to... What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So something is, is going to be making you, making you stronger. This is heartache. So you're going to be losing something, and I don't know what it is. Could be a job. Could be a partner. I'm just being honest with you. Um, whatever it is, there's going to be some heartache over, over, uh, a loss because death is an ending that leads to a new beginning. Um, up there in your hopes and fears is the king of cups. That is emotional support. I think that you, you have somebody that is going to support you. This person is going to, uh, take care of you. Uh, and you are being called to let them, let them take care of you. Let them love you. Let them in. Um, you're probably hoping for this love. And I think that whoever this person is, this person has it to offer. Um, you may not see it though. You may not see it. You may be uh, very pessimistic with that three of wands reverse. You may have a, you may be lacking foresight, right? You may not have the ambition or the energy or the focus that you need. And you really need to find your focus. So I feel like in three months from now, you have somebody here that really, really cares about you, but you may not be seeing it or you may not want to see it because of a past betrayal. You know, you've been hurt really, really badly. I think, I think in, in three months from now, you may be um, rebuilding or building a new foundation with somebody that um it's either rebuilding or built that broke down there there may have been a, an emotional breakdown or a breakup or something like that but there's a chance to rebuild it i think there is a chance to rebuild it and and uh regain stability whatever this is but i feel like in the in in probably september you're probably going to be feeling or in the next three months there's insecurities that you are dealing with and they're insecurity i think the most of these insecurities are within yourself and i think it's because you've been betrayed and hurt so bad in the past by another person um, you're maybe fearing another woman or another person but i think that's just a fear I think that you are probably uh, with somebody who wants to have a relationship with you, but your insecurities may be, may be hindering the, the uh, growth of it. And um, so, yeah, I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of pain of over the past that is, that is needing to be healed. But I think that it is healing because you see that patience card. And if you think about the temperance card, temperance is about healing and healing after death. Okay, so I think, yeah, you've been in a painful situation that is going to need healing, but you have somebody around you that is going to do whatever it takes to help you to heal and to help you to trust them. You may not trust them at all. I feel like there's a lack of trust right here. Okay, there's a lack of trust. So I think that um, you're going to need to think more positive. Um, this person that if you are single and you have not met this person yet you you're gonna meet them you're gonna meet them because I don't see you being single I don't see you being single I see you being in a relationship um, some of you may be ending a relationship and getting into a new one okay because endings lead to new beginnings but there's definitely there's pain there's definitely pain with that heartache card and the ten of swords and the and the tower and um 
So there's there's major changes that are going on within you that are that are hard to adapt to, and I think that you are, will be adapting to these changes, and uh, learning how to uh, master your emotions a little bit better. Um, I think that you're very fearful of getting hurt again, um, but you may not be seeing that whoever you are dealing with really has genuine loving feelings for you. Um, so yeah, that's what I see. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, that is that is really um, looking for a relationship. It really wants to uh, put in a lot of effort into this. This person is very charming, very romantic, um, very spiritual as well. This person knows that you have been hurt. Um, I'm going to get one of these. So I think in three months from now, you are going to be dealing with your own insecurities. Uh, this person is going to help you to, to deal with your insecurities. They are going to, it's basically fix you, help to fix you. And I think we did, we had this song come up and I don't know if it was a daily or what, or whatever reading it was. It was a while ago, but I think that's by Coldplay, Fix You, you know, that song by Coldplay. Um, timing is everything. Okay, by October, I think you will be in a place. Some this person may be even, you know, if you think about the King of Cups, the King of Cups is very loving, very charming. You know, uh, you may not see it, but I'm not sure if this person may even propose to you. Um, let's get one of these. If you're not married already, if things have been shaky, I think things are going to get better. I do think things are going to get better. Um, what do we got for Gemini? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And you are. You are attracting uh, romantic love. There's no doubt about it. And, but you are being called to enjoy it right now. Think positive. Think positive. Don't let your insecurities get the best of you. Okay? past life relationship you have known each other before so I feel as though you are, are going to be connecting with somebody that knows that you have been hurt and they're going to put in a lot of effort to uh, express their love to you and to help you to heal that's what I see that's what I feel I think that you are absolutely still hurting over a past relationship and this person is going to help you you deserve love. You are lovable. And that may be one of the problems here is that you feel like you don't deserve love or you're not good enough, but you are good enough. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's what's going on here. You are going to be working on a relationship with somebody that, you know, perhaps you're still getting to know them. Okay. And you may feel like you're not good. It's your own insecurities that are hindering the growth of this relationship. But I do feel like you're going to be balancing out your emotions um, and adapting to the changes and growing with somebody. You are unaware. You are unaware that this person is, is going to do whatever it takes to support you. There, you know, I, This is a lack of force that you may not see that this person really, 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 really cares. Um, so yeah, I think in three months from now, you're going to need to be, uh, more flexible. You're going to need to be more flexible and more open-minded. Okay. Um, think positive, focus on your health, be proud of who you are. Um, I think you're going to be looking really good as well. I think that your image is going to be improving and I think that's going to help things. I think that your, your health is going to improve. So, uh, yeah, good luck.